want to get the gold i got you what's good youtube it's your boy tragic kills and today i'm gonna do something different today this is a rain guy dedicated for bloodhound mains reaching gold today we're gonna do a guide between bronze and gold and the strategies you will use to reach there i got three three main points i want to focus on in this video and I got some gameplay that I would show you. I would show you what I did wrong, my mistakes, and hopefully it will help you. And, you know, you know, let's get started. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support your boy. If you really would like this video, then I got some plat videos for you. I'm gonna show you how to reach from platinum to diamond. I'm working on that. But if you like it, let's get started. In ranked, there's a lot of things you need to focus on, but right now you need to focus on rotations and dropping in certain areas and when uh and ranked the higher level you get the higher you go up that is really gonna determine how if you're gonna lose points or gain points if you drop high and you and if our rng screws you over you will lose points and then it will keep happening and happening then you will get demoted right now i'm dropping at a decent location it's not that many people but still it's no, nevertheless it's still a very high location it's i'm in bronze so it really doesn't matter but as you go up between silver and gold that location will matter and if you do not have good good loot like i do right now then this really gonna screw you over i'm about to help my teammate out you know, with that little assist and get the, uh, get the quick knock you know, i'm gonna hurry and revive my teammate but rotations is another key area the one thing you don't notice me doing is looking at my map even though i should with um as you go on in ranked looking at your rotations is key people don't really notice this but rotating is everything it will determine if you get really good points or you're just gonna get some kills but you won't you won't get those those points that you need to really rank up i see some tracks here i'm scanning i'm gonna go for the kill my beamer, but oh my aim, my aim wasn't right, and I got down. But my teammate came with the clutch. Another thing you should focus on in ranked is your positioning, and that has another click key thing with uh, rotating. Rotating will guarantee you good position because you're rotating before all the other teams are, and taking that position is everything. For bronze, you really need to just focus on surviving and getting a couple kills to get you um get your points. But as uh, as high, higher you will get, it will matter. I noticed that my teammate is getting not well. He's getting revived, but primarily teammate gets not. And you know I'm taking position. That's high ground. The bloodhound. Those scans are everything. It can pinpoint exactly where the enemy is. And it can just really help a lot. This pattern trying to test me. I have no heals, so I really have to play high ground. I beam this, I beam her right here. Her light, that, that team, she probably telling her whole team down super low. Yep, he's trying to rush. The nine. I got her up and heal. He scans, bro. The scans will save me. I know that they're reviving, so I get that easy knock, that easy knock right there. I heard he been used that Loba boutique to uh, armor swap right there, and uh, I immediately take high ground back. High ground is everything for me getting beamed. I know that they're resing again, so I hurry up and I clean up that squad right there. You notice my points? These points are crucial. It takes up to, um, I'm pretty sure it takes up to four to five kills. Uh, or assist to get max points in the end game and you'll see that throughout this uh, game that if you can get these amount of kills from the start and to survive into top five top three you will get the points you need to rank up i promise you that's the main key how i went from bronze all the way to gold you just need those points all right this is another thing i was talking about you know we got the fight but we continue to loot instead of rotating and if you notice the circle is on us 
and it's really really screwing us over right now i think i'm about to show the map right i should be showing the map there we go if you notice that map we are far far from the circle in in gold lobbies flat lobbies this it would have been over but we're in bronze so it really doesn't matter as much but if we were in uh, gold plat lobbies we would we would have never gotten to end game because there would have been a team right at that circle ready to drill us and gatekeep us Let's use that jump tower. and then we're continue rotating into the circle these jump towers are everything now let me talk about Bloodhound. This is a Bloodhound main. This is a Bloodhound guy, so I'm gonna talk to you about Bloodhound. Bloodhound, he's amazing. His scans are crucial. Right now, you know, these scans are really crucial to survival. You, it can really help if you're finish a, a team, and then you can get that quick scan to let someone, to let your team know if anyone's third partying, and if uh, a team does come boom you hit up that scan you know exactly where they are you can pinpoint where they're coming and get ready to beam them that's why bloodhound's really good yo i think i noticed someone's right here so i hit up the sand i just fry him that's another kill and with that i'm pretty sure i have max points in end game Now this, now this is the end game. If you notice, uh, my points skyrocketed to 120. That's because we're in, we're in top, we're in top five. You know, our points really go up in top five. Even, especially when you have kills and assists, your points will not go up as much if you do not have kills and assists. Those kills are crucial to uh, ranking up. You know, our, our teammate got downed, we couldn't get him. And if we tried to get him, then we could probably wouldn't have gotten here. We noticed there's a team fighting in the distance, so we try to, you know, shoot a little to get like an easy knock. I ain't got a one range weapon, so I'm unsuccessful. Right now, we're just playing for position, keeping this height, making sure we survive. Survival is key. I'm using my scans to know where everyone's at so we don't get flanked. I'm just chipping them by a little bit, but you know, a little damage is a little, it's just what you need to discourage the team from pushing you. Just that little damage. Gotta make sure I keep my scans up. If that's still, if, if, if y'all around this part, I appreciate it. You know, a little sub won't hurt, but you know, I appreciate it, guys. If you like this video, let me know in the comment down below. I might do a platinum video of this video as well. A guide to help y'all reach from plat to diamond. And, you know, that's just a whole nother video dedicated by itself. Because that is that it's crazy. But, you know, my Loba main, you know, my, my friend, you know, he's helping me get loot. I'm getting shot at so I, I know that team has to hide and I do not like that because there's multiple teams around us and it's just not good. But we continue to keep this high. I wanna but I wanna rotate to a different area because this area is too opened up. And I think we're gonna do that soon. I know it's again really aggressive so we decide to rotate. Successful to get to me, so he gets knocked. Sadly, he is not in cover with me, so he's gonna get thirsted. Now, kind of with this, I kind of had nowhere to go. I was by myself, so there's nothing really I could have done but survive. Honestly, sometimes you just gotta be the bigger person and just survive. Well, I just will determine. I hit up that scan and realize he's alone, I think, and he's getting shot at, so it's really good. I'm pretty sure. 
he has terrible position. We don't get the dub here, but you know, I survived the top three, and honestly, that's just as good as the dub and ranked. Especially if you have kills. What I'm, done, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to wait for the other team to fight. I'm praying. I am praying that the other team will push each other, but I don't think they will. The team is getting shot at by the other. And I noticed that team is rushing me, so I heard them pop my wall. And they would have beamed that one person there, but I don't know why this team decided to rush me. They literally sold the game because of the pressure. I, was able, I wasn't able to survive that. And that was the dub, literally just by sitting in the bubble and having to brush against his ultimate. But, you know, I couldn't really do nothing that much, and, you know, I got the points I needed. And that's really it, you know, those points, you know, you don't have to get a bunch of kills, be, you know, get a 20 bomb to get to rank up in, um, in Apex. If y'all liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all so much. I'm going to be doing a guide to platinum if this video does well. I appreciate, I appreciate it, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace, love y'all.